welcome back to another quick redstone guide. Um, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the difference between a redstone signal, like this, a constant signal, and a redstone pulse, where it just flashes like that. And the common problem that you'll run into with these things is that sometimes when you have a signal from a lever, you want it to be converted into a pulse like that. And then the same thing for the other way around, you want this to be constant from a button as well, so we're going to go ahead and, and take a look at how you do that. So first we're going to be turning a, a button into a lever here, just like that. You can see that the button now sends out a constant redstone signal, and the way we're doing this is making use of a comparator, which is detecting an item that gets sent up into this dropper, and when you press this button, it basically sends the item from one dropper into another one and then that dropper sends it into a hopper into this one ready to be cycled back through again so it's really quite a simple setup with the comparator facing into this dropper here like that and then for the lever to the button to make a redstone pulse we're just making use of the observer block here pushing a block to update this observer and send a pulse into this redstone lamp. So if I flick this on, it updates the observer and sends a pulse into this lamp. And that's pretty useful for any kind of redstone you're doing when you need to convert a signal to a pulse or a pulse to a signal. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and want to see more.